the US housing market has entered an unprecedented home body era. What does that mean? Check out Tom's take right now. News of the home body era is all over Bloomberg, Business Wire, all the different places that talk about the housing market. At the end of June, a lot of people came out, including chief economist for First American, who does a ton of title policies throughout the country, Mark Fleming, came out and said this. We are in an unprecedented home body era because many existing homeowners continue to feel rate locked into their current home and seniors are continuing to age in place. So we talked about seniors aging in place in a previous episode of Tom's Take. I can't remember which one. That's not the point. That has been debunked to a certain, to a certain level. What we do know is the rate locking is a real issue that's happening right now. Because when you look at what happened through the end of May in the housing market, the housing market outperformed its potential and existing home sales were two tenths of a percent higher than the market's current potential. And a lot of that was driven by historically low rates because rates through the end of June were down 0.7 percentage points from the previous month and hit their lowest levels since January 2018. So what's happening is, and what we're seeing the change, I gotta go to my notes here because we're dealing with a ton of data. So we know what the performance looked like through the end of May. We know what happened with rates. We've also seen income rise 2.6% year over year. So people are making more money, rates are lower, and there are still 80,000 less sales than this time last year in the entire country. So the home, number of home sales are down despite these positive indicators for buyers. Low rates, higher income. Credit is also loosening right now. So the credit standards to get approved for a loan are loosening. So this is very, very friendly conditions for buyer affordability. The challenge is the inventory's not there. So I wanna share with you some additional data that to me really tells us that the US consumer is learning from the mistakes of 2008 or what really got us there and are much more conservative when they are buying properties because it costs a lot of money to move. So before 2007, the average amount of time someone lived in a property was five years. That's how long they owned it. From 20, uh, 2008, to 2016, that number jumped to seven years. And then through May, we're at an 11.3 year span of home ownership in the existing properties, which is a 10% increase from where they were previously. So we're seeing some big changes in how long people are staying in homes. And right now, half of all the existing properties are owned by baby boomers or the silent generation. So what we're seeing happen is that this home body era has caused a lot of people to be more conservative not move as often, and that's what created part of the inventory shortage. I disagree that seniors are still aging in place. I wanna reference back to that previous episode of Tom's Take. Nick, maybe we can put that number in the show here. I just can't remember which one it is. The point is, people are living in their homes longer. And because of that, what it means for buyers and sellers is this. If you're looking to buy a home and you see the absolute right property that's gonna be a perfect fit for you, or maybe it's 80% of the way there, or maybe you need to live on that street or in that location for reasons that are independent of the market, it's better for your family, you've got relatives close, that's the reason to make the move and pull the trigger, and those opportunities are going to be less. So if you're a buyer, it's critical to be up to the date, up to date with the market and act quickly when you see the right opportunity and get clear on what you want. For sellers, know what the buy side's going to be like. If you're able to, buy your new home first before you sell. If you can't do that, you're gonna need to have a backup plan of where you're going once your current home sells because you may not find that right property in the allotted amount of time. So it's about having a plan, knowing what the path is, and being really clear on the market conditions. So this home body era, all this tells me is that people are learning from their mistakes. And I love to see that because being conservative financially is going to help you long term when it comes to building your wealth. It's about having a plan when you're making these moves because these are big life changing decisions. And if you don't have the plan and know the market conditions, then you're going to be one of the people operating from a position of reaction rather than being proactive and getting ahead of the market. If you got specific questions about the home body era, how long people are living in their homes or how that affects you, you know where to reach me. Otherwise, we'll be back next week.